it's not as uh it's not as creepy as i thought because the top of the truck is open so you got some light in here i was worried it was going to be completely dark but i'm inside the car inside the trailer less than a mile away from dennis's house oh we're moving oh my gosh that feels so weird <laughs> it's crazy trunk in the front wow Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this segment, I get to do something that I've talked about for years that I've been wanting to do, although I'm not doing it in the full capacity that I want to, but we're still doing it. We're gonna have fun. This is a surprise special delivery that will happen today on the vlog. I wish it was happening for Susan in California. Remember a long time ago, if you've been watching this for a while, I said I always wanted, as we ship so many cars across the country, I wanted to be in the truck when the truck arrived at your home and get out and surprise you. There's another red C8 Corvette there. Dennis from Ohio just took delivery of this from the National Corvette Museum. You might even be able to see the National Corvette Museum delivery license plate bracket on there. So as you see what kind of weather I'm enduring, he didn't want to drive this all the way back from Kentucky to Ohio. And he watches the vlog and he says, you know what, it'd be kind of cool to have this big truck come to my house. So that's what he did. He contracted our shipper and they're bringing the Corvette to his home, which is only about 25 minutes away. So I'm gonna drive and follow the driver. Uh, we're gonna meet up maybe about a mile before his house. And then I'm going to be, I wanna be inside the car. We'll see if we can make that happen, but I'm definitely gonna be in the truck and there to surprise Dennis at his home for his official delivery of his brand new 2020 Corvette. But right now, it's all about Susan, our past customer from Valencia, California. Congratulations, Susan, with your black Trident wheels. And actually, it's gonna work out well. We're gonna put your factory stock wheels inside the truck so we don't have to send those over mail. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting them. I don't know what you're gonna do with them, but you're gonna have them. It's nice that the driver is gonna accommodate us with that. And if you wanna see the wonderful spec in which Susan ordered, check this out right now. You guys like that spec she ordered, huh? Yeah, she knows how to pick them. Poor car should have been in California already. Another victim of accessories. Waited almost a month to get her stuff. Wheels, side rocker extensions. Oh, there's the uh, there's the splash guards. And if we get close enough, can you guys see the texture in this is the same material here. So it's really gonna help ward off rock chips and things like that. And I actually like the way that black looks with the car. Here, let's go on this side over here. It does give it some definition. It just it goes it works yes susan bought a c7 from us when they first came out thank you so much for that and we shipped that car to her as well i got a chance to meet her in one of her business dealings when she was traveling the country but of course 2020 uh, nobody's really doing a whole lot of traveling so uh, we're used to doing business remotely so susan thank you again for that continued opportunity so how would i pull off a surprise delivery on something like this leaving from ohio to california well i would fly there then meet up with the driver kind of like what we're going to do today so this is going to be fun i appreciate you joining us on the vlog thank you so much hey have you subscribed to this channel yet you want to know what's going on in the corvette marketplace with cool corvette people and the guy that sells them well you're on the right channel man so hit that subscribe button hit the bell dude uh youtube stop all right man thanks I think I need to be more prepared. I'm actually looking at the camera and the battery life is like this. So before I get in the truck, I better get a new battery or everything I just told you we're doing today, you're not gonna see any of it. There's too much going on in this head, man. I need a film crew to handle the stuff for me, man. Or maybe, uh, maybe I'm just getting, I'm, am I getting old? Not yet, I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. All right, you know what time it is. It's time for our send off, Pat. Many of you that have bought from us, Susan included, you probably thought, man, this day would never come. Oh my gosh, Susan, we gotta send off 
pass for you. Congratulations. Thank you so much for the business. And you betcha, I'm going to rub that Z51 wing. It was funny, when I was filling up her car this morning, I was over at the gas station. That's a key, the gas station. This guy pulls up in a Tesla. I said, hey, man, uh, you lost? He goes, what? I go, you're at a gas station in a Tesla. He starts laughing. So, checking out the car, man. He goes, that thing is absolutely gorgeous. Yes, it is. So now my question is, how do I get up there? We haven't quite figured that out yet. But the thing is, is when I'm determined to do something and I get one of these nutty ideas, well, it's not a question if. It's like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And if I don't do it, then I'm going to be, I'm going to be cranky. And you know what? That's right. Anything for a smile, anything for the moment, anything for you guys. Thanks for your support. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching. Can you guys see it? Yeah, there's the semi. He's following me to Dennis's house, and then we really haven't decided where we're going to pull over and have me hop into the truck, but uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I got to wear my mask so we follow protocol. I'm in the truck right now. Thank you, Ernie, for making this happen. We're going to pull over here in a second, and I'm going to jump in the car before we get to Dennis's house. This is pretty cool, man. What a lot of fun. Look at this narrow road. Oh my gosh. I told you guys before in the vlog, there's no way I could do what he does for a living. Oh, we're going over here. See, when I'm doing stuff like this, that's when I wish you guys were here with me. I'm glad we're sharing it. Having fun. What's that, sir? Yep. All right, here we go. Okay, buddy. Is the door gonna open? I can just get in there? Yeah, as long as we watch it, then it doesn't open up into the... I'm gonna say bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not as, uh, it's not as creepy as I thought because the top of the truck is open, so you got some light in here. I was worried it was gonna be completely dark, but I'm inside the car, inside the trailer, less than a mile away from Dennis's house. Oh, we're moving. Oh my gosh, that feels so weird. <laughs> it's crazy. You guys can't sense what I'm feeling right now. Okay, this is really weird. I might need to have uh, rethought this. <laughs> Grab this scary feeling. It's like being on a roller coaster, but you can't see where you're going. Just there's Susan. Hey, Susan. <laughs> oh wow. Sorry, this is the. Dennis is all about protocol, and we're under a mandatory mask mandate here in Ohio, so. I know some of you guys don't, I, we're all exhausted with this, but they call COVID fatigue. Are we here? Goofy had my foot on the brake. <laughs> like I can control what I'm doing in this thing. <laughs> absolutely not. Wow. Just for the record, the driver thinks I'm absolutely nuts. But you guys know that already, so this is no surprise. <laughs> you see, well, I hear the neighborhood dog, so we've got to be, got to be close. Okay, I think we're here. Oh man, I don't know. See, I don't think I'm down low enough. And he was nice enough to lower the car so I'm not all the way up at the top of the roof. So I had some room to really get in here. I know a lot of you guys watching right now have thought about how cool it would be to have one of these big giant trucks roll up in front of the neighborhood, 
Let everybody talk about it. Oh, what's Bill getting? He's getting a new Corvette. <laughs> That's part of the fun of having the car, right guys? Right. Okay, if you want to do it for your new Silverado, that's fine. Do that too. Okay, I gotta be quiet now. I don't know what we're doing. I'm imagining he'll. I'm hoping he don't open the side because if he opens the side door, then of course Dennis is gonna come over here to look and see what's going. He's gonna see the car, and then I'm, I'm over here. Try to duck down. He'll probably open the back up first. I'm thinking. See, this is one I need to film crew so they can be filming. Okay, there's a door opening. Filming what's going on outside. He just opened a door over there. Okay, he's talking about this. Okay, he's talking about this. Gosh, I can't, I can't duck down enough. Ah. And see, he's got to unstrap the tires yet too, so it's like not like he just opened the door and I can just drive out. Okay, second side door's open. Oh, please don't open my side door. He is. See what's going on. Maybe no. He's opening up the back tailgate. be watching the much edited version of all this regardless I'm having a blast right now with anticipation of the look on his face when he sees that I'm in his car it was just shipped from the National Corvette Museum to his home here in Ohio <laughs> we gotta do this again but I gotta do it in a much nicer climate California <laughs> here I come Texas yeah baby Arizona have to use what we used to call on radio theater of the mind think to yourself what's going on right now outside this truck just think Yeah, is he in the back or the side? You're ready. Yeah. Straight back. Go straight back. Where is he? How back? Huh? He's he's out there videotaping. Wait till you see this hill. This hill that we just came in. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, what do you want me to do? Just you want to, if you want to unload, just straight back. Okay. Don't There's... even turn the wheel. And just set there. All right. Sorry, guys. This is gonna be. So there's Dennis right there filming. Can you guys see him? Does he know I'm in this car? You're the man. You're the man. How did you know I was in here? 
come on. I know you too well. Come on, man. You never do anything simple. I heard you call my name. I'm like, are you kidding me? Ricky, this is great. <laughs> this is great. Did you guys hear me? He goes, Kati, you, you drop it off that ramp. You own it. <laughs> this, this is customer service. Hard drives to sell. <laughs> hey, congratulations, baby. Thank you, man. It's been uh, fun. Welcome, what an experience. Man. We'll make a car haul And I'll tell you I mean, what, yeah. here's a professional driver here, Ricky. Are we down? We're down? Yep. Jeff, you want to take it straight back? We're down. Don't turn the wheel. How did he even know? Come on, man. I might have been born at night, but not last night. Boy, okay, very funny. Did you really think I was coming for real? I not to. He opened the door and he's not getting. He's not climbing in. I think you're in there. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to surprise you. I wanted to freak you out so bad that I was in this you car. Did, you did right up to the point where he started unloading. I'm thinking, wait a minute. <laughs> got to get in there, and that car's starting up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess we. I think we accomplished it, yeah, didn't did. we? Yeah, you did, man. Yeah, man, great absolutely. Customer. This is great, man. Great, great customer service, sir. I'm so happy. For There's you. my lovely bride up there. Hey, Eileen, how are you, sweetheart? She's the one that said yes, by the way. Oh, yeah. hey. So, that's half the yeah. battle right there, brother. Yeah, absolutely. So. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. I'm, I'm going to pull, I'm going to drive the driveway. Did you, now, did you drive any of this after you did the delivery at the museum? Because no. I know he picked up right away. So no, you, I didn't drive at all. Okay, you didn't get no. a chance to drive. Just, I just around the lot. I drove it around. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> we got to thank Ernie, too. Ernie was uh, very flexible in making this all happen. Ernie, God bless you, brother. Thank you, dude. No worries. Travel safe, okay? That's uh, the biggest thing. Look at this hill, you guys. Oh, my gosh. That's what he said. He goes, wait till you see this hill. <laughs> <laughs>And what a professional, man. He just did it. No, he's a good man. Yeah, he's a very nice man. Did whatever. So yeah. this has been a great experience. Yeah. You know, I knew it was going to take a long time. Right. But it just kept building and building. And it, once we walked into that museum and saw that there, knowing it's mine. Right. It was I got the money it. shot too, man, because like your it. car wasn't across the aisle. Yeah. So your car was closest to the yeah. cam. Yeah. And you just took your mask off. I saw you yeah. checking your phone. I said, hey, look up and wave. And there you are, just waving, yeah. smiling. I, it was beautiful. So I'm right up the street. Just come see me anytime you need me, all right? I will. All right, bro. Take care, man. Congratulations, dude. How about that, guys, for a surprise delivery? All right. All right He's man. too smart for his own good. But we still had a lot of fun <laughs> yeah, bringing this one to great. you. I appreciate you guys watching and also sharing in the moment with us yeah, right yeah. here on the channel. Take care. See you guys. This was a fun experience for me, too. It really was. But when I was laying in the car, and he says, if you drop it off the lift, Conti, you own it. I'm like... Okay, you guys are on to me. You know I think way outside the box, and you just never know what's coming next. So you guys saw Dennis's car come off the truck. You know Susan's car's on there from California. So Ernie, where are you going next? Uh, Nashville, okay. Memphis, mm -hmm. Palm Desert, and then Santa Calita. Thanks for the lift.